was 10 years ago that Zach Wheeler was drafted in the first round by the Giants. He gets to face his original organization again today. One out and nobody on. Here's Mike Yastrzemski. Down tip, strike three. And Wheeler has his first strikeout. And that'll bring up the number three hitter, the Kung Fu Panda, Pablo Sandoval. Swung at and missed strike three. Got him with a fastball at 98 miles an hour. Two strikeouts for Wheeler. Rosario win to lead off against the rookie righty, Sean Anderson. And Rosario lifts one out to right center. That's it pretty well. Back goes Duggar at the wall. It's out of here. Rosario clears the fence in right center again. His eighth home run of the year is second in two days. And the Mets have an instant one nothing lead. Dominic Smith who was the Mets first round draft choice six years ago. And Dom hits one in the air to deep right. Back goes Pilar at the wall and it's out of here. Back to back home runs to start the day. Rosario and Smith and it's two nothing New York. Well, you Number can't. four for Smith and the Mets off to a fast long ball start. And now Pete Alonzo facing his college teammate Sean Anderson. And yeah, that's too high ball four and so Alonzo draws a walk after the two home runs and a less than satisfying beginning to this game for the rookie right hander Sean Anderson. So one away now at Danny Echeverria. Echeverria hits a ground ball pass about to second panic has it flips to second one Crawford to first in time for a double play and that could have been worse. And Steven Duggar a left handed batter. It's lifted toward left center. Long run for Lagares moving back at the track. He slows. He leaps up near the wall and he makes the catch. Juan Lagares ranging to his right deep into left center, brushing up against the fence with a back footed leap. And Lagares robs Duggar. Two up, two down. Mike Dostrowski leads off for San Francisco. That's grounded toward the middle of the diamond. Echeverria can't quite make the play and Yastrzemski has the first giant set of the day. Runner at first, nobody out. Pablo Sandoval. Sandoval chops towards second. Echeverria to his left has it. Spins throws to second one. Rosario to first. Not in time. Sandoval does not run well, able to beat that out. Sandoval's on with one out. And Brandon Belt will stand in. Belt swing and he hits a high drive into deep left center. Back is Lagares. Back at the warning track. Back at the wall. Goodbye. A two run homer for Brandon Bell to the opposite field to tie the game. Brandon Bell got a 97 mile an hour fastball and he turned it around the other way. One out, one on. Juan Lagares will come up. And Juan tries to butt his way on. Anderson with the bare hand play. Safe. Whoa. So the Mets' second bunt hit of the day. First, Dom Smith, and now Juan Lagares, who often tries it, rarely is successful. But this time he gets the bunt down. Anderson delivers. Swing, they smash on one hop. Backhanded by Panic at second. To Crawford for one. Back to first. Two, a double play. Here's Pablo, 0 for 2. Well, now he's seen Wheeler twice, third time through. To me, Pablo dangerous in this at bat. Pablo to deep right field. And he knows it. It is gone. Into the second deck. Giants have a 3 to 2 lead. What an at bat. His eighth home run of the year. I told you, third time against Wheeler. I could see that one coming. Panda puts on the championship belt. Have a runner in scoring position now, and two down. And here is Echeverria. Ground ball to short, not hit very hard. Crawford picks it up. The throw to first, just in time. Crawford waited for that one. And uh, might have been an anxious moment in that Giants dugout, but they got him. He knew what he was doing. Juan Lagar is drawing the walk. Tomas Nito is at the plate. He grounds one to the left side. Crawford with the sweep throw, not in time. And the Mets have the first two men on in the seventh. First and second, no outs, one run game. And it'll be Gomez coming up. And Gomez pops it up and lands for Sandoval. The plate will be the first, and so the sacrifice winds up being successful. Jeez. Not a good bunt by Gomez, but it works. And now they send Jeff McNeil to bat for Ahmed Rosarios. And he reaches for it and flicks it, and Crawford can't get it. Base hit, and that ties the game. Jeff McNeil doing what Jeff McNeil does. He gets his bat on the ball some way, somehow, and he dunks it in for a game tying hit, and it's three to three. JD Davis faces the lefty Watson. That should be two. Crawford to panic, panic to belt. <laughs> a double play. The go ahead run in scoring position. Frazier trying to get Conforto home. 
Lifted in the air to left. Over toward the gap comes Yastrzemski at the warning track at the wall. It's out of here. Todd Frazier gives the Mets the lead with a two run homer. Number five for Frazier and it's five to three New York. Ligaris. Echeverria running. Ligaris lines one down the left field line. That's a base hit. This one headed to the wall. Picked up on the warning track by Yastrzemski. Here's Echeverria rounding third. He slides home without a throw. Three runs in for the Mets here in the eighth. They now lead the Giants six to three. Ligaris at third. Ramos at first with two out. And McNeil rips one a base hit. That brings home Ligaris with the fourth one of the inning. Jeff McNeil, two at bats, two hits, two RBIs, seven to three New York. Giants are down to their final out. Now Stephen Vogt. He struck him out, and the ball game is over. Jerry's familiar with a 1-2-39 to finish it, and the Mets take the rubber game of the three-game series from the Giants, seven to three.